What's up guys, I'm Shane, welcome back to our North Texas Dynasty. So we signed four recruits, including Brian Brooks, who is a nice little speedster. 94 speed, 92 excel, 78 agility. His catching skills are pretty good, 70, or 87 route running. So this guy's going to step in right away. For the big one, Chris Manning, 81 overall D-end. I think he's going to go right into starting. I He's not even going to catch a red shirt. I think he's going to fill right in for Dodson. Tony Lamb, he'll probably catch a red shirt. And Austin Daniels, same thing. All right, it's time to jump into Georgia. We are technically a better team than them, but it's not by very much. So I need to be... I can't throw those three picks like last week. We can't count on the defense to get a shutout here. We need to be flawless. Because if we lose, I have us on a pretty soft schedule. So one loss and we're out of the natty picture, it seems like. Because Georgia and Texas were two good games. Uh, Texas already lost and Georgia's down to one and two. So a loss here is going to hurt us a lot. A win isn't going to help us at all. We, we have to win out. Like, we can't afford to lose or we're screwed. They seem pretty balanced overall. Our defense is going to look way better than it should because of the last game. But we're still averaging 65 points a game. You're probably going to see a lot of Scott Hardy in this one. There's a nice run. Breaking some tackles all the way up to midfield. Good play by Scott Hardy. UCF just blew out number three, North Carolina. These rankings are all over the place. Nice catch, Harris. And no one bothered covering Deontay Simpson. Yep, UCF blew out North Carolina. That's down. And Miami did take down uh, Notre Dame last week. And I just saw down there, Kentucky just beat Florida. Oh my god, we might jump to, like, number two if we win here. Looks like we can afford a loss after all. Let's not do it here, though. And Dodson with the sack. Great coverage by Bautista back there. That quarterback had no idea where to throw that ball. All right, third and 16. Don't give up the big play. Hope for a screen pass. There it is. Again, which way is the safety going to go on this? Didn't matter. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. That went terribly. That's all right. Scott Hardy's going to pick most of that back up. <laughs> 18 yards. Third and six. Five carries for 56 yards. I don't know why I'm bothering to pass the ball. Fourth and two. Not nah, defense got to stop. We got to run this hurry up and go for it. There was a window where I had Harris open, but it... That's the one where I'm going to be cautious. Okay, bye. Bye, Hardy. No one wants to cover lane. Come on. Oh, I can't quite get in there. This should be a walk-in touchdown right here. Easy. Okay, no big mistakes. We should be good from here. There's the big mistake. No, never mind. Okay, Cardwell got off that block. Oh, he slipped right around Dodson. He's still... Ah, uh, okay. I dropped my controller. I wasn't slamming it, I promise. There's Dodson. Couldn't get away from him that time. Thank you! H Abrams was like, yeah, I got this. And then he bounced around. So he's got two interceptions and they're both glitchy as hell. But he's like, nah, nah, I got this, bud. Don't worry. I love that that's the replay, though. All right, so far so good. Up 14 nothing on Georgia. Now I just got to not screw it up. There's another big run for Hardy. Okay, but here's the thing is running the ball is working. We got a zero yard run on one play and otherwise he's already at 100 yards rushing. So I don't know. I don't, I don't see much reason. I mean, we're going to pass the ball here, but... I'm not going to go crazy with it. Unless Lane can do that. Good. Bye. 
Oh, PA smash. <laughs> it is no longer a tight end doing that. And uh, Richard Lane, there's your touchdown. There, see, I passed the ball. Come on, I read it, I saw it. I couldn't get off the block. Oh yeah, he beat Bonds deep. That's what happens when you play man coverage. Now how do I stop the draw play? Not like that, apparently. Oh man, he just wall up Davis back there. Eh, we knew we weren't going to shut him out. We still got a two-score lead. And Cardwell returning a kick. How does he keep sneaking in there? Oh, never mind. Oh. That was a good one. All right, because they get the ball to start the second half, what I'm looking for... I'm not going to try and run the clock out or anything, but if we can score here and just keep a two-possession lead going into halftime, that's all I want. Ah, fourth and two. You know I'm going to do it. I don't care if it's Georgia. You know I'm going to do it. It has failed once. Yep. And then I get pushed out of bounds. I don't want to do that. I want the clock to keep going. I'd actually get more yards on these, but I keep slightly grazing my offensive lineman running upfield and bouncing. Sprint out smash is about to work again. Oh. Okay. You're stronger than Deontay Simpson. I get it. It's funny to me how some of these plays, I run them, but differently. So, Printout Smash used to be my favorite because I was trying to hit whoever uh, Square was over on the left. Then it became my favorite because I was trying to hit whoever, uh, is that X, was over on the right. And now I'm hitting Deontay Simpson, who's on the actual Smash route. Oh, good play. That guy got beat. But that was a good jump. All right, so the trick here is don't throw a pick. Don't. It doesn't even matter if we take a penalty. All I'm trying to do, keep the clock moving, take my field goal. Good catch, Tupin. All right, now, you know, we're going to run a hurry up because Scott Hardy's about to come out. Yeah, see, he's down there wheezing. We're going to hurry up. We're going to just let the clock run out on its own, kind of. We got our three timeouts, so if I get stuffed, then I'll call it. But I want to get this under 10 seconds. All right. And in for the touchdown. That was easy. All right, eight seconds left. Can Bracken kill the rest of this clock? Yes. Somehow on a touchback, he manages to kill 10 seconds. Or eight seconds. I don't know how. That's just the game being adv advantageous to us. So, that's the end of the first half. We're up 28-7. They're going to get the ball here. But we're in a really good spot. Amazing what happens when I don't throw a bunch of interceptions. Oh, good play, Bautista. Should have put your hands up to catch it, but I mean, I'll take a pass deflection all day. Their halfback is tired. They're going to give a draw play anyways. And he stayed up somehow through all that. Another draw play. Taken down easily this time. I saw a circle open, but I think this worked out better. Alright, I was going to pass it. It's third and one. I'm just going to take the first down. They have a very scary looking middle linebacker there, number 51 in Wesley. Um, but I, he just is kind of a pushover. I don't think his overall is there yet. Marvin Harris beat his man. Yeah, we're not going to get conservative too much today. I wanted to kill the clock at the end of the half for a specific reason. We got a three and out. We're just going to keep going. I'm not chewing clock. But we'll, uh, I'm not afraid to throw it. Now I can afford a mistake. But I need to go aggressive here and try and sort of put this game away. Simpson on the curl route. Yeah, okay. Hardy. Not quite in, but 10 yards on the catch. We'll run a hurry up. We'll get him in for a rushing touchdown here. It's so sad. It's almost guaranteed. Like, they're stacking the line here, and I'm like... Yeah, still untouched. Oh, God. No, never mind. He manages to fall every time. Even he, he's just over there like, what? What am I doing with my life? He really is broken. 
Oh, wait, sorry, that's copyrighted. Uh, uh, Awoken. Uh, Alabama pulls it out over Ole Miss. I was hoping this everyone in front of us would lose today. Bad angle. Got him down, though. They're gonna run it again. I got caught up, though. Abrams in there to shut it down, though. I have noticed that some teams are just like, they have cursed seasons for no reason. Oklahoma had that last year for us in our uh, QB99 experiment. Year four, we played a 99 completely overall Tennessee team in that final bowl game. And Hawaii, of all teams, blew them out. It, they were 99s across the board, 6-6, six and six, and got blown out by Hawaii. So, even though Georgia's good, sometimes the computer's just like, nah, you're going to be garbage this year. A little bit of a high pass, but Peter Smith grabs it. Yeah, Tupin just trucked that linebacker. All right, so he's... His bark is definitely scarier than his bite. I hate that. He got knocked backwards and, like, straight out of bounds and lost three yards on that. All right, that'll wrap up the third quarter. We're up 35-7 to at Georgia. But for some reason, they're still tossing their guys in the crowd. I don't know. The, the comeback, I guess, is on. And that puts Hardy over 200 yards. Oh, Harris with a nice tiptoe catch. Good job, bud. These guys are just dinking dunking. So they're getting down the field, but they're not getting any big plays. It's like five yards, six yards. But nothing really fun to sh show you, except for Dotson murdering him. All right. I was just looking at the stats. I'm like, how many sacks do we have today? Well, now we have two. Just played that one. Not as much as they misplayed that one. I was about to say, they have to be going for this one. If they think there's any chance of them coming back, they have to go for this, right? And there's a sack. Booker there, finally, back on the board. That's his first one since the first game. What a time to get it. Yeah, I'd say it's about time we run this clock and go home. Oh my god, our offensive line is just so good. Just the left tackle, left guard, and center are so good. I don't even know. I think Serafino's good. And Quinn might be okay on the right tackle side, but who cares? We never run it towards him. But all I ever see... It's funny watching Billy Bob's fat behind just running upfield and getting the downfield block. Like, nothing makes me happier. Ooh, Simpson with the truck. Yeah, I want to put this 50-burger on him. And Clark getting downfield. There's another touchdown and another cheap shot afterwards. Is this poor sportsmanship? Don't care. Karma let me have it. Oh my god, this was our tough game. Jesus. Hardy with another player of the game. 236 yards, four touchdowns. Not much receiving today, but I mean, he didn't have to. 50 to 7 is the final. That was a great play by Lane. I'm glad I almost cut him because I'm like, well, you're just a junior. What are you going to do? That. That's what he's going to do. Alrighty, final stats on the day. Eric Emile, 20 to 26, 273 yards, three touchdowns, and took two sacks. Plus, there was an intentional grounding in there. Rushing Hardy, 236 yards, four touchdowns, only one over 20, but at least there was one. Receiving, Simpson had six catches for 60 yards and a touchdown. Marvin Harris, four for 56 and a touchdown. Hardy, three for 32. Tupin, two for 22. Mitchell, two for 10. Richard Lane, the surprise of the season, keeps it going. Two catches, 83 yards and a touchdown. And Peter Smith, one for 10. This shows you how good the PA smash is that Richard Lane is blowing us up. Oh, look at all those pancakes. Two for Clark, one for Serafino. Lane getting one, too. Ryan Casey getting one, and Quinn getting one. I'm assuming Casey and Lane got those on kick returns. Defense, Dotson and Davis, the only ones with five tackles. Dotson, two TFLs, Booker, Abrams, and Bautista all with one. Dotson had two sacks, Booker had one. Abrams with the only interception. Bautista with the pass deflection. All right, so that'll wrap up our most challenging game we have this season. We still have to play Texas, but I believe Georgia's a better overall, so... Uh... This is looking pretty good for us. Like I said, we have no leeway. We cannot lose any games. Even though it looks like the top five like completely blew up, 
it might be Alabama 1 and us 2, the way everything else went. I'm not going to take any risks, but I'm just assuming that we can't lose anything. And if we want to go back to back, then we need to do that. We also have to take into account that uh, Coach Derek Carrot starting to take a couple phone calls from some of these NFL teams. Not really a fan of that. Don't want him to move to Jacksonville. So maybe I don't want a national championship for us. I don't know. But we'll get to that later on in the season. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Should not have done that all in one breath. If you would like to nickname any of these incoming recruits, we locked up four last week and hopefully we're going to keep adding to them. Please leave that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.